Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube. Today I want to talk about GTT or GTT Communications, a telecom company based out of Virginia. 64% buy rating right now on Robinhood. Current price is $2.04, positive 11 cent for the day or positive 5.64%. And it's down negative 2 cent for after hours or negative 0.97%. We're gonna look over the chart real quick. Weekly chart, it's up positive 2 cent or positive 8.9%, right? Monthly chart down 47 cent or negative 18.73%. Three month chart down $2.16 or negative 51.43%. Yearly chart down $7.16 16 cent or negative 77.83%. And the five year chart down 14.5 cent or negative $87. I mean, 87 cent and 32%, right? 87.32%. Goodness. At time tied for a minute. All right, so average cost to me, right, is 195 for about 300 shares. Portfolio value is 9.14%. And the cost to us is $585. It actually has a value of $612 right now. Total return is $27 or 4.62%. And we scroll down, you can see that we have options. We have two options valued at $390 right now. Today's value or today's return is $70 or a positive 21.88% and total returns $120 or 44.44%. Clicking on GTT, you can see that all of that is true right here. Two contracts, break even is $235, average cost is $1.35, got in at $270, market value is $390 right now, so total return is $70, 21.88%, total return is Today's return is 21.8% and total return is $120 or 44.44%. We're not going to go too far into the option contract. We're going to go back and we're going to scroll down. We see the about information when it comes to GTT. You can read that you got yourself. We're going to scroll down. We take a look at this information. The only stuff that I really care about right now is all of this. So high today is two dollars and six cent low was 191 opening price was 196 the volume is 3.43 million today's high 12 dollars or 52 week high is 12 dollars and 59 cent 52 week low is one dollar and 51 cent scroll down related list telecom virginia right analyst rating which we already went over 64 percent 27 percent hold nine percent sell right scroll down you can see their earnings information the estimates when they're going to be dropping which is March 30th pre-market see our history when we bought and people that own GTT also typically own all of these four I've owned cash the maritime bought it way lower than that sold it way higher than that and I'm not gonna be messing with it anymore I'm gonna go back up real quick and then we're gonna move on over to their website I always tell you guys to go to their website so that you can pull up the information that's needed as you can see I've already moved to the sex filing area of the website you can go right here to investor relations sec filing this is going to give you the information that you need that the company's been reporting to the sec right notification that the form 10k will be submitted late so they're going to be submitting this form 10k late that was march 16 2021 so anything you need to know about the company that they're that they are actually reporting to the sec is going to be right here in sec filings we're going to move over to e-trade real quick 2016 as you can see we always like to go over to analyst research and right now they're not giving us any price targets we have two guys right here that are actually giving their ratings right so this guy on february 18 21 said sell he actually have an article about it you can actually click on it read the article see what it says and then we have another guy that gives a whole rating he did that may 11 2022 with the price target of seven dollars it did not um, actually hit that seven dollar price target but you can also read his article as well going down to the consensus moderate sell sell underperform morgan stanley gave negative argues nothing technical market edge says avoid and the reason why is because the price is going down options nothing and smart consensus pure rating detail as you can see 10 25 19 25 would mean hold 10 would be buy 19 would be sell most of them are given a hold and then we actually looking at performance sp 500 actually performed good last three months over the year 69.77 percent compared to gtt which which sucks in the past three months um 
and year, right? Negative 52.20% and negative 76.48%. So if you got in on those highs, then hey man, I don't know what to tell you other than you're, you're probably missing money. But there were times in there where the stock actually reversed and went up. So if you were smart and you were paying attention to your, your shares and the price of the company, you could have gotten off with some type of profit. Anyway, we're gonna move on to Yahoo Finance. We're gonna scroll down Take a look at the fair value right now. They believe that it's overvalued. Scrolling down, chart events bullish, so they believe it's going up. Short term, two weeks to six weeks up. Mid term, six weeks to nine months down, and long term, nine months down. Right. We also have news that they have right here. GTC announces leaders for American and Europe divisions. Scroll down. We know that they already have a lawsuit that was on them. That actually, it was your last time to actually uh, for shareholders to actually get in. That lost massive amounts of money March 15th. So if you didn't get in by March 15th, hey, that's final notice. You can't get in anymore, right? We're going to move on to our NASDAQ website and actually look at the ownerships, people who actually own. And I'm going to scroll down to what I actually like looking at, which is new and sold out positions. And take a look at the decreased position. We have Vanguard that decreased their position on 12 31 2020. Scrolling down at the known names that I like to, that I know I know. So Wells Fargo, we have Morgan Stanley. So these companies actually got out um, or sold or decreased their positions on 12, 31, 2020. And then we have people that actually got in or companies that got in and, and increased. BlackRock, Goldman Sachs, Charles Schwab, Bank of New York, JP Morgan Chase, Invesco, and many more who actually increased their positions um, on the same date, 12, 31, 2020. So you see how many, by how many shares they increased it, you see the change, you see the values, right? So what I like to do is go back to the actual uh, date so that we can see, hey, what happened during that time frame? So we can go back to December 31st, 2020. We see that the price was at $3.57. So a lot of people sold, a lot of institutions sold off, a lot of institutions bought at this price. And then we see where it kind of bottom out 338 they continue to hold but then it shoots up in price 565 now we it doesn't show us whether or not they sold at this price or not but if they did they really made some some money right and then we see obviously that it's now at two dollars and four cent it actually dropped lower than that and they would have made some they would have lost some money right so We'll find out whenever they decide to put some more information out, whether or not they sold at the highs or, or actually bought in again. We don't know that information. But anyway, I would like to thank all you guys that have been subscribing, liking, commenting. Hey, I really do appreciate it. I'm going to continue to drop the videos and continue to move forward with the channel. And uh, man, I really do appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. Bye.